All right, what's good, YouTube? So uh, I'm gonna go a little deeper in depth today about uh, my actual personal setup. Last week we went over how to pick out a good computer and everything. So I'm actually gonna show you guys exactly my personal setup and what I'm currently using um, and all my stuff that I got right here. You you guys can't see it, so I pulled all the links up and everything. So this will also give you like a run and tally and tab of about how much you could spend. You can spend more, you can spend less. It's, it's totally up to you. It's going to be all contingent on what your criteria is and what you need to do and what you need to have done with the uh, computer or have, have the computer to do for you. So, um, you know, so a couple of you guys in the comment section and, and the DMs asked me to go over my setup. So here we go. All right. So to start with, I have a uh, 2000 and I believe it's like 21 Omen uh, HP. 15. This is the exact laptop I'm recording myself off of right now. It looks just like this. Same setup and everything. This is the exact la laptop I'm recording you off of. I'm recording myself off of. And this is the laptop that I have used to make my videos. I use this one to make beats. Um, this one I use for everything. I love this laptop. It's actually a really good laptop. Uh, this is also the one that I told you guys I upgraded the RAM in it because or the, uh, the space because it, it didn't have the amount of space that I needed. See, as you can see, that's 512 gigabytes of RAM space. Obviously, I you know I'm using a lot of programs. So once I downloaded all my programs onto here, I was pretty much using up almost 400 gigabytes with all between all my programs. So I only had 100 gigabytes to save stuff. So I bought a, a um, portable hard drive that I could plug into the computer, and I saved everything else on that. And uh, then I had some problems with the uh, um, the uh, with the computer, and I had to get it fixed. So they once they fixed it, they upgraded that. So as you can see, this computer comes with the i7. So like I told you last week, the i7, i9, and so things of that nature are going to be faster moving computers. I have 16 gigabytes of RAM. But what this has is this thing called plus it's got 32 gigabytes of Optane. So actually, that was what caused the problem uh, that I had. This, this little Optane thing actually is a chip that makes 16 gigabytes of RAM run as efficient uh, and as fast as it as if it had 32 gigabytes of RAM and that actually went out and it caused me some issues. So what they did was they took the 16 gigabytes out and that chip and then put a true 32 gigabytes of RAM in there and I haven't had issues since then. So in here you've got, uh, 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 what is it called, like a video card. Uh, this is the, the, the GeForce RTX 2060. I don't know too much about stuff like that, but that's pretty much like your re how how quickly your images can be processed while it's showing. So like when you're moving around in a game or something like that, and you're, let's say you're playing a first person shooter and you've got the, the shoot, the, the, the sight pointed, however you move like this, how, how smooth it moves. You know, have you ever noticed if you played an online game or something and it kind of looks like you're moving like this, like it's almost like ticking rather than it just being a one, long, uh, one nice, you know, smooth move. That's what's going to uh, the higher that the better of a video graphics card that you get, the better that this movement is going to be when you're moving the mouse. So if you notice when I move the mouse, it's not real choppy and clicky. It moves as I move. But this is more related to when you're pro doing a lot of you know major heavy work on the computer. Right. So this is pretty much the basics of my computer. This is the, the exact setup. Uh, I'll probably even drop the links down into this uh, to this this one uh, in the comment section. Uh, you know, whenever you're shopping, definitely go and read the reviews. I know when I read the reviews on this one, uh, I really liked the reviews. People said it was a great computer. Uh, but I mean, you know, you'll have your things where, you know, you got one off people talking about some problems, but do your research. Right. So I've had this computer almost like two, well, probably longer than two years now. And uh, it's, it hasn't given me any major problems. It's been a great computer and I love it, to be honest, which is it's an excellent computer to begin working on. So next, what we're going to move forward from that is now that you have your computer set up, so you bought your computer, you got all your connections, you got your charger cables and everything. Now we need a way to pump sound out of the computer. That's going to be quality sound, right? So this is what I'm currently using. Just a little cheap pair of JBL five inch uh, su uh, sub, um, excuse me, uh, speakers. This is what I'm using in the house because I'm in my house. I live in a condo, so I have a neighbor that's, that's ahead of me and then a neighbor below me. So I can't you know, be thumping too hard. So this is like my at home setup. Um, I'll go over my studio setup that I have in the studio, had, had in my studio and whatnot. But this is my at home setup. It's just a little, look, just a set of five inch speakers. There's nothing crazy about them. They sound great. They get the job done. I can make beats on these. I can play music. You can play video games or do whatever you want with them. I got some stands and whatnot too. I got some of these stands right here. But for 260 bucks, 
you can get you some decent quality speakers that you can make beats off of you won't have any problems if you go back here when i bought this computer it was like 1300 dollars. so the prices dipped a little bit just because i'm guessing because it's a, you know a couple model years behind so right now let's just well matter of fact let's keep a running tally right so you can see about how much it costs you to uh start a studio setup and this is all you're going to need aside from the programs i mentioned whatever program you do you pick this is all you're going to need to make beats um record music uh to create art, whatever you're doing, create them on your computer. This is all you're going to need. What this this short list that I'm about to show you. So right now we're at, we'll just call this eleven hundred dollars to make it easy. Eleven hundred bucks for a computer. Again, it, it, it could be plus or minus. You can go higher up on and and get a even better computer, or you can go and you know take some of the things off that you don't need from this and and just pay for what you need, right? And then we've got two hundred and sixty for some speakers now in my studio i use a little bit better quality speakers this is the exact setup i have um i have the yamaha i think they're eight inch yeah they they should be eight inch speakers of the yamaha with the sub and everything like that um i actually got these sec uh i got the speakers brand new i can't remember what they may have cost me they may have been like three or four hundred bucks each and so i spent maybe like seven or eight hundred bucks between the pair and then the sub itself, I actually bought secondhand at a pawn shop. I happened to just be in there looking for, you know, killing time, honestly. And then it happened to be in there. And, you know, obviously it matched my Yamaha speakers. They worked fine. Sounds good. Went ahead and bought it, had all the connections and uh, plugged it up and started using it in the speakers. Oops, I uh, hit cancel on here. Hang on. Wait one second, guys. So we got the 1100 for my computer plus the 260 for the other speakers, right? So, I mean, obviously this price would change if you want to go this this high up in quality, but you do not have to go to this. You do not have to get Yamaha speakers. You do not get the KR5s, kick speakers or whatever. You can get it done with some regular old JBL speakers. My first beats that you guys listen to, like all the stuff I did with Playboy Cardi and a lot of the stuff I did with um, Fawny and Uno and all of them in the earlier years, I made it off a little Bluetooth speaker, a little round little Bluetooth speaker about that big and about that tall in my dorm. And I had to plug it up to a, a USB port to keep it charged the whole time I was making a beat and plug it into the aux port so that I actually play out the computer. At that point in time, the computer I had was number one, it was stolen. Somebody stole it and then gave it to me. I didn't find out it was stolen until, you know, several months later. Uh, it did not have the, it had a broken internet card. So I would make beats, um, save them and put them on a the flash drive, take the flash drive out and put it in my MacBook just to put it on my phone or, or to email it. Something as simple as that. So when I was emailing these artists, I, it took me two computers. To even get it done so sometimes the artists would be like hey i need beats now i'm like i can't i don't have access to the internet even if i had hotspot i could not do it um what else do we got um well and and i, I just have the bluetooth speaker and a little crappy laptop and i made all those songs and all those beats that you guys have heard so you do not need much so you got the the cheap version that's going to get you the job done and you got the more expensive version that's also going to get the job done now, I will say as far as mixing and making a really, really good quality sound, these are going to be better because these are speakers that what they call are flat. So it lets you hear exactly how the sounds all sound. It's not bass heavy. It's not uh, treble heavy or anything like that. So if you go and get like the KRKs, those are bass heavy. So your your 808s and your your high or your 808s and your kicks are going to hit harder on those speakers versus what you hear in your headphones, whereas this is going to be more true to what you hear in the headphones, but out loud. So I really like these. These help me uh, mix very well. Yeah, mixing vocals and making hella beats. These these are really good. I, I I stand by these. If you can really pick something, I say you go with a better quality speakers because the quality that you're hearing and that you can tweak and mess around with is gonna is gonna 100% affect the quality that you end up hearing at, at the end of this. But again, like I said, I've been on these at the house for my personal use. This these are in my house right now. Where I'm literally working off of them right now. Whereas these were in the studio. So you can get the job done with either one. You're not there. They are both great products. Um, next thing you need is the interface. So we mentioned earlier uh, or in the last uh, video about this interface, the Scarlett 2i2. I still use this. It's, I, it runs faithful. It, it, it's, it's a faithful piece of equipment. I got my mic and everything set up over here. It's just a, a little you know, two-way interface, headphones, the cords and cables you need. So now we're at 290 bucks. On top of that plus 290 and if you notice all this stuff is on amazon you could literally put all this stuff in your shopping cart hit click and buy and have all your stuff your whole studio set up in your at your house like if you got amazon prime literally the next day but if you don't within a couple of days 
that's a basic setup it gets the job done connects to your uh, table or you can uh, get a stand like I have and you can make your music just just this simple setup that you see in this picture is exactly what I'm pretty much working with aside from adding two you know speakers and uh, I'm not running off of a Mac this is literally what I'm I'm doing right now like if you guys couldn't can go find that TikTok where T Pain shows you his setup of, of what he made uh, in love with a stripper on. It's literally just a little nightstand by the corner table in a hotel. Uh, is a laptop with headphones, a little uh, uh, what do they call blue ice mic? Uh, what are they called? The little ball mic that's really cheap. The USB one that's sitting on the corner, and that's it. That is, that's it. Uh, the the laptop, the headphones, and the little mic he made. I'm in love with a stripper. Blew up off of it, and well, <laughs> y'all see what happened with that. So that's literally the setup that I'm dealing with. Just what you just saw is an equivalent. Obviously, you'll get some uh, some programs that you can work with it. Um, I'm not familiar with all of these. I mean, I've seen the keys one and, and splice and things of that nature. I've seen that one there. Um, but you but you, you, like I say, just get what you can afford, get what you're comfortable with and get what you're used to and what you like. Right. Uh, what do I got next on this list? All right. So my, my monitor. So. I have uh, my laptop plugged up with the HDMI to another monitor that's up here. So that's why if you notice in my videos, sometimes I'll stop looking at the camera and go up here because I'm watching myself up here to make sure everything looks good. But uh, once I go, oops, can you see? You see my mouse here? Once I go to this side over here, I'm actually on this second screen where I'm controlling my video and everything like that. I highly suggest you do this because when you're making beats or recording or you're doing your thing, you can actually use this screen, your main screen here, to create the beat, create the video, uh, record the music, and use your uh, second screen up here like that I have, and uh, use that to mix and master or mix your beats or do some editing stuff, whatever the case may be. It really helps to have a, a two split screen. Now, I do highly suggest, if you're going to be more so on the inside, to, to instead of using a laptop, I highly do suggest you actually use a um, an actual PC, like an actual computer. I'm going to try to show you guys what I was using in the studio. Hopefully you can see it. It's, it's, a, it's a big old, lap, it's a big old uh, Mac tower, right? So this is what I was, was using in my setup. It's a Mac tower, as you can see. But on the inside, I took everything out and pretty much gutted it and um, upgraded all the, uh, the parts and components. So I upgraded the RAM. I upgraded the... the uh, the processor I upgraded. Oh, actually, I didn't upgrade the processor. The processor is still a really good processor for this computer because it's still the same stuff that they use in Mac currently. So I upgraded the RAM, I upgraded the memory, and then just a couple of odds and ends in there. But this thing is like a, a workhorse. I could open up, I don't even know how many programs. I've edited a video while making a beat, while recording somebody, while watching a YouTube video on how to do something, while having uh, several other um, uh uh, studio sessions and the FL studio session open while running a uh, wine bottler or whatever because this is a Mac computer I also had it running Windows as well and it was it did all of it flawlessly so a, a tower that's built that is capable is 100% your best bet over a laptop and then having the two monitors and then the same setup that I'm telling you about you will like it'll be great it, it is an awesome setup however if you're dealing with a budget you want to be mobile this is getting it done because I've been doing this uh, with this setup with my laptop, and my other screen, and my two speakers here. I've been doing this the entire time that you guys have watched YouTube videos. I haven't even turned this thing on to, to do anything like this um, at all. So this this is actually a computer that I'm going to, um, my tower, I'm going to end up using and actually create like a big, nice setup in here in my spare room and uh, really make you guys a nice visual uh you know, background of things that you can actually see once I start to really kind of decorate, put things in. Because again, this is just a spare room. It's just my office that I use to create beats and do stuff in here uh, and, and teach and show you guys. So this, I'm gonna turn this into like my education room basically. Um, but I don't wanna hold you guys too long, but that's that's pretty much all I got. That is, is, is literally that simple. Let's go ahead and add this together. I actually have two of these um, speak or two of these monitors. So we'll, we'll do it times two. So we'll say plus 320. So in total, you can have a whole entire full studio set. Let's say you throw your programs in there. Let's say you want to get FL Studio. That's 200 bucks. And then let's say you go with Studio One. Studio One is 400 bucks. So to have all your programs, everything that you need to start, literally, you can start a studio too. You can start recording other people charging. You can start making beats. You can start uh, making your, your um, 
music videos or commercials or whatever you do. You can edit your TikTok video. You can do everything on this computer, and this is all it will cost you, give or take. Yeah, this is this, this is all you would spend twenty five hundred bucks. So p some people that seems like a lot, some people that's not a whole lot. Me personally, I think to get if you're wanting to take something serious and start a career or do something um, seriously with with your music or your art or whatever you're doing, twenty five hundred dollars to invest in yourself to make that back. I don't I don't I don't see a problem with that. I don't know how many times over I've made. $2,500 from off of strictly music or my art or whatever I have going on. I've sold a beat that was about $2,500. Just one beat. Just one. So you can really make money off of this. It can be something that is really, you know, beneficial to you. It's extra income. Or it can just be something that's just simply a stress relief, something that you enjoy to do and just a hobby. But for $2,500 and you have a full professional setup, something that you could literally make some really good quality, um, stuff off of it's like i i think that's fair i my youtube are in the beginning when i made some videos for people i made them strictly off of this macbook here it's just a macbook air there's nothing special about it it doesn't have anything fancy in it it's just a regular macbook air i downloaded the programs that you know i had at my um school when i was going for graphic design i learned a couple little tricks and tips watched some youtube videos and i and i was able to edit music videos off of that it's not even really capable and built for that but i was able to do it so you don't need much to achieve a whole lot so like all these artists and these people uh that do music or things of that nature that it the 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 presentation of what you see may be like at seem like it's way out there way beyond your grasp or your reach but you may not realize this person literally sat here and made this thing on an ipad and or on a on a mac uh, MacBook Air or on my uh, HP Omen. So, you know, don't be discouraged just because you don't have the funds uh, to get what you think you need. Get the basics. Get a computer, get you an interface, get you a speak, some speakers, and get you a, a second screen. You don't necessarily have to have a second screen because you got a screen on the laptop. This is just literally just this is optional. You know what I mean? The two larger speakers here are optional. You can get this done with a laptop and some good quality headphones. Literally, you can make beats. I used to make beats in the calf all the time uh, in between classes uh, on my laptop and I iPod uh, headphones and then go to my dorm and make them on the little Bluetooth speaker. And y'all was loving V-Lone Thug and uh, Water Thicker Than uh, uh, Blood or all them funny songs. Y'all loved all of that stuff, every second of it. You love Dresser, every second of it. And it was, none of that stuff was made ever in a professional studio setting or anything like that. So I'm not going to hold you guys too much longer. It's a little bit longer winded video, uh, just like the last one. But, you know, I want to get a good explanation for you guys. But I appreciate the uh, the question of what my actual setup is. Maybe one day I'll kind of figure out a way to show you guys and record it, put it up here so you can actually see the setup and see how like what I'm dealing with. But that's all I got for you guys today. And uh, just enjoy your Sunday. I ain't going to hold you too much longer. Uh, it's the end of the month. I'm trying to chill. It's a Sunday. So y'all enjoy yourself, man. Peace.